day. He <laughs> loves the accordion because it's portable. He can take its beautiful music anywhere. He's known as Mr. Accordion in 48 <laughs> states and wants to be remembered as such. But as Channel 3's Ted Pretty shows us, in his effort to ensure that he's remembered, he's making more noise than just from his accordion. Roy Bertelli's been married twice in his 87 years, but he's only had one main squeeze. There's just uh, nothing to describe my passion for this instrument. One thing Roy likes about the accordion, it's portability. So much so, he hopes to take it with him in his new mausoleum. The, uh, the lady director told me, uh, Mr. Bertelli, you can do what you want here. Her exact words were, it's your money. So Roy bought the land from the cemetery for $30,000. He put up his tablet, he put up his mausoleum. But it's now a decision the cemetery is starting to second guess, saying that Roy's monument is starting to track from another monument from a famous Illinois resident, Lincoln's tomb. This is right at the entrance of Oak Ridge Cemetery. Uh, to date, we have taken uh, a lot of complaints and we haven't received uh, uh, a whole lot of compliments on it. Evidently turned out more beautiful than what the cemetery anticipated it to be when they approved it. The cemetery can reluctantly live with what Roy has already built. They're just concerned about the future. We think additions need to be stopped at this point. Additions on Roy's list, a permanent flagpole and a barrier, protection from oncoming cars. And there's one more thing the cemetery doesn't like, Roy's impromptu accordion concerts. Additional changes don't seem likely, and the current setup, if Roy can help it, is here to stay. This uh, structure is guaranteed for 3,000 years or for a lifetime, whichever comes first. We have to wait and see. Ted Pretty, Channel 3 News, Springfield. For my money.